平和なクリスマスのため私が出ます Hello everybody, Vigo Shadow here, and what we have here is、um, Bashful Santa Iris just came out not too long ago. Both the Holiday Frolic and Beatrix and the Bashful Santa Iris are out now as our two event holiday characters, with also this、uh, Revival Holiday Rhapsody banner. Now, this was the first. Ever event characters、uh, was Christmas Alexia and Christmas Sherry.、Um, I will be doing a video on those two as well, but for today's video, it will be Iris. Now, I already, some of you have already seen that I did a stream for Iris. I have been waiting for an Iris, a new Iris unit since、uh, day one.、Um, I've just been rocking the regular、um, Innate Sword Iris, that red unit. Until we finally got a new event, Iris. So I definitely went and pulled that. You can check it out if you want. But yeah, I used a lot of gems just to get her. But、um, yeah, either way,、uh, let's just get right into it. So、uh, I actually, for this, for this new account here, I actually pulled her twice in the same,、uh, on the second multi. So that was very interesting. Oh, it's just gonna give you the, the awakening tip. So I can technically bring, bring her to A1, but for the sake of this video, I am not going to, I'm not going to A1 her yet, so that we can see all the base stuff here. So right off the bat, I will go with her alt. So it is Santa Secret Holy Slash. Ah,、uh, love the name of that already. But、um, this one, it inflicts 2,000% damage on all enemies within 100 centimeters of a single enemy with the highest attack. Now, with this skill, a lot of damage right off the bat. I mean, we've seen other units like Green Alexia that does like pretty much less than this damage and on a single target. So, doing 2,000% damage on. Enemies within 100 centimeters of a single enemy with the highest attack. This means you can,、um, depending on how close they are together, and 100 centimeters is、um, not that. It's not that far away, so it's kind of like really, really、yeah, close together. So, but what I like about this skill is that it is a, attacking the highest,、uh, the single enemy with the highest attack. So I'm sure that. Um, bosses or different events or whatever that you're doing, whoever has that highest attack, and hopefully it's not like a grunt or anything, but I would assume it'd be the main boss that have the highest attack. And even if it was, I think bosses and like stuff like that are like really close together anyway. The fact,、uh, the fact of the matter is that this does 2,000% damage on an, a single enemy, and that's good alone. But having this 100 centimeters. Um, on all enemies within that range for that highest attack is really good, and when it's awakened, it's 2,500% damage. This is almost getting close to like I know SF Claire does 3,000% damage on like a single enemy. So this damage right here is actually really good when it's awakened, so definitely worth awakening. And you can get this amount of damage potentially on like two, maybe three enemies that are close together. So this move is actually really not that bad for an ultimate. Now let's get into her like regular skills here. So we have Santa Color Lightning. So what this does is it'll cancel all shield effects on a single enemy, and then it further inflicts 300% damage. 300% damage, not bad. Could be better.、Um, there could be more to it, but the biggest thing is the shield effects on an enemy. So whoever it's targeting, which most likely this Iris will be attacking, either the tank right off the bat、uh, in the first line, or it's going to be at attacking the person with the highest、um, attack. Now, if it cancels all the shield effects on the highest attack, then that person is going to be very vulnerable,、um, and you're going to be able to take out their heaviest header. So, you know, I see this being a lot of like, like a lot of potential in arena. So this is not a bad move for Arena because you're going to see a lot of Sherry's that have recently been floating around in Arena that are using the SS Plus gear with the shield. So this kind of combats that 
it'd be better if it could do like uh, within 100 centimeters uh, get rid of all the shields there but this is only on a single enemy um, still good though to cancel all the shield effects that means you're gonna at least have one person exposed uh, so that it could take a lot of that damage and then next we have Santa snow wave and what this does is it lowers defense on all enemies within 100 centimeters of single enemy with the highest attack by 10% for 10 seconds. And then it further inflicts 100% damage. When it's awakened, it'll be 150 uh, with 15 attack, so that's not bad there. Um, I think I went through the awakening here. Yeah, it's just a little 100% damage increase. So nothing too significant on that awakening there. And this one's just like a, a, a small bump as well. But uh, still, it is very consistent because we're attacking the single enemy with the highest attack. So that's always consistent there. Um, so that's good. It's not like you're attacking random enemies. Now, if that was the case, this, this could be potentially an awful unit. <laughs> but um, then we have her last skill here, which is Bashful Santa. You see this on the, the cover when you like log into the game. Like This is kind of like how it's advertised. This is what it's advertising. Basically, it raises the damage of, uh, inflicted of all rel red elemental allies by 25% if partied with four or more red elemental allies, self-included permanent. Now, this stat boost is probably um, one of the best things that this unit does have to offer. The only downside is that it requires a lot of red elemental units. So you need to at least have three red elemental units um, because it's going to be self-included, so you're going to have to find three other red elemental allies. And then you could have a blue or yellow or green, um, especially if you like have an SF, that'd be really good. Um, I know I have the Master Shadow on my main account, so I'd probably pair her with four with or with three other red elementals and just have that, um, like the Master Shadow being the only blue elemental so it doesn't require a full party of red elemental just four out of five which is which is a lot to ask for but the bonus can be very well worth it so this is very 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 good for red teams now if we have this awakened now it's even way better this is what makes it worth it for the awakening unfortunately we're probably going to see this really far on the roadmap but it raises the own damage inflicted by 20 percent permanent now that would be really good because if if that's the case then you're you're taking 45 percent attack uh boost and then you're also lowering the defense so that's also good to do that and you're consistently attacking the highest attack um the enemy with the highest attack i will go ahead and go into the base stats here for you we got the um, power there at the top, all the way to healing boost, um, all the way from healing boost to overheal. No SP boost or nothing like that, no evasion. Um, and then there we have the grouping of human and Midgar unit. All right, now let's go ahead and check out her awakening roadmap here. Here at the A1, we have Santa Color Lightning. Now this will sh uh, cancel all the shield effects. It's not the best um, part of the awakening on her roadmap here because uh, it's only a 100% damage increase and then of course like a few additional stats. Now this is definitely worth it at the A2 here that Santa Secret Holy Slash. It'll do the 2,500% damage. It's 500% more damage that is definitely well worth it. Um, so Iris, this Iris at A2, really good because of that ultimate it it makes it a lot a lot lot better so and then we have the santa snow wave pro probably like the second or yeah probably second or pr uh, third best compared so it's definitely better than the other two skills because it um it's able to lower more defense um and kind of like do a lot a little bit more but either way, a gear slot would be better there, and that's what's here at 4. We have a magic gear slot at the A4 there, um, so you could have an additional piece of equipment. And then we have her best ability at the A5, so really hard to get there. You'd have to pull her at least four times. Or actually, you'd have to pull her five times so you can get the A1 through the event. 
So getting her to A5 is really cool too, but I mean that I mean that's a hard feat in itself. It's very expensive to do that to get this unit to A5. All right. So now the question is, should I pull for the Bashful Santa Iris? And what I have to say to that is, I mean, she isn't the... She's actually a pretty good red unit, if all things considered. I know, um, spending, like, just saving up all your gems, like the 56,000, um, if you were to pity it, is kind of... I would say it's not... It's not the best use of your gems. Obviously, if you're going for something really big and extravagant, you know, you're going to want to save for SF Shadowfest banners if you're wanting, like, really, really good units. So I'm not going to say that this one is, like, a must-have unit, but it is a pretty good unit to have for a red attacker. Um, I think it's, with its base skills and its ultimate, it outperforms, um regular innate sword iris which is really good already but it doesn't beat her in the fact that she can boost her own damage at the start of the wave and that's what makes um this red iris unit very very good because you have here let's just go down to it you have this ability right here that is able to raise the damage inflicted by 35 percent and that's what makes iris really good but if you had double iris now now she's getting a damage boost even further, so just pairing up both the irises would do a lot and a lot of damage. Now, Calamity Witch is probably going to outdo both of them based on the bleed factor, because bleed in PvP, bleed in arm like Armageddon, bleed in events, like bleed is just such a really really good skill to have. So, I mean, Calamity which does outperform a lot of these other red units, unless we're talking about Shadow Festival red units like Claire. Claire is like probably one of the top red attacking units. But if we go back to this Iris here, I would say if you really like Iris, like I do, um, I would pull for it, especially if you want this Christmas aesthetic and it is a really good red attacker despite what some people may be saying about it. If you really want a good red team to go for quests especially, um, and bosses too because it can raise the damage inflict uh, by the 25%, you can do this. You can do this to make your other red units very strong. Like this is a good boost. So uh, yeah, that's all I have to say about that. Vigo, signing off.